On May 28, 2008, during the Cheltenham Marathon, Paula Radcliffe failed to turn up to the 12th checkpoint of the race. Immediately rumors began circulating of her fate, centered on the sighting of an unidentified, black creature in the woods prior to the race. Many said it was feline in form and that it was connected to a series of chicken thefts over the last year. These quickly spread up from the darker forums until hitting the big time when mentioned on GMTV. I immediately traveled back to Gloucester, my hometown, to see what I could discover. I had had a persistent feeling I could solve the mystery, since watching the television earlier that morning. After a slow three-hour trip, I stopped in Swindon and I slept in my car for a time. I felt strange. The condensation of the long night obscured the view it could be a solution to Swindon's problems. Upon arriving in Gloucester, I suddenly realized that that it was Cheltenham I needed to go to and that, at best, my journey to Gloucester had been frivolous. My car then refused to start, so I immediately decided to book a coach and make my way to Cheltenham. I arrived at my parents' house and decided on a run of interviews with my immediate family. My father had always been a keen runner and wanted to understand what his perspective was on Paula's disappearance especially. I had many questions. Was it the uneven, poorly maintained surface? Or the badly marshaled course? Did she trip while peeing? My mum looked perplexed. My brother looked nervous. My dad always had the answers to all of these. I left as soon as the interviews were finished. Having been dislodged from my original intention of investigating, I sat on the coach dejected. Daydreaming. The scenery blurred like crushed violets. Night fell and somewhere outside London we stopped. The blue lights reminded me of something, I could not place what. I felt uneasy and a strong impulsion to get off the bus as soon as possible. Riding this feeling, I got off early in Swindon. My car was waiting for me and slept in it for a time. I thought to myself, I can decide what to do in the morning, but it looked certain I would need to return to the scene of what happened.